What's going on guys? Quick question. Do you guys enjoy taxes? Because Lord knows I don't. Um, and the reason why we're talking about that on a gaming centric channel is because of the fact that there's this thing that's been going around and it's called the Xbox tax. And I feel like that's the dumbest sounding thing ever, but because I, I was so confused on what it meant. The short version is when I heard the Xbox tax, I thought it meant that Microsoft was paying people again, because I know they did that in the Xbox One generation. And I thought that's what was going on. But in reality, for those who don't know, the Xbox tax is pretty much talking about the journalists and media that intentionally review games lower on Xbox just because it's on Xbox. And I'm just gonna quickly go over my thoughts on that and how stupid that sounds. <laughs> no, um, in all seriousness, I will say this. Do I feel like the Xbox tax is real? Yes, but it's not exactly what people are kind of talking like it is. And what I mean by that is I feel that Sony gets a pass with a lot of stuff. I feel like Sony can make as many dumb decisions as they want to. I feel like Sony made a bunch of dumb decisions this year, but no one really, like, they'll talk about it in the media, but at the end of the day, it doesn't seem like it holds a whole lot of weight. Whereas Microsoft made a bunch of dumb decisions when the Xbox One first came out, and they're still dealing with that. And that was back in 2013, but they're still dealing with that. They're still making jokes about it. Sony has been making bad calls all year. You know, between layoffs, well, Microsoft had layoffs too, but between layoffs and they're just focusing so much on hardware, and none of their games recently have just been you know, super, super bangers. Now, people feel like Spider-Man is, and in a lot of respects, I like Spider-Man. I said that I think Spider-Man 2 is going to be game of the year after I play the game and I did a review on it. And I still think it's a must-buy game. I don't feel like it's going to be game of the year anymore. I feel like something like Baldur's Gate is probably going to end up winning that. But ultimately, you know, the thing as far as this tax and everything goes is let's just be honest with ourselves, be 100% honest. This all came because Starfield didn't get nominated at the Game Awards, which in my opinion, who cares <laughs> you know in reality i'm not trying to go on the game awards or anything like that but we're talking about a bunch of people that are saying that this is how they feel everything about gaming is very subjective now there's going to be some blatant things like yes this is obviously a bad game you know but the thing is in reality if you enjoyed starfield and you feel like that was your game of the year then awesome that was your game of the year and that's all that matters a game going game of the year is not going to change anything. The game's already out. <laughs> you know, nothing new is going to happen. Whether it sold well or it didn't. And that's already going to be the case well before the game awards. Now, the thing I look for for the game awards, all the games is going on sale. That's what I care about. <laughs> you know? Uh, but in reality, it's not anything worth beating yourself up about. I feel that these gamer scores and game of the year awards and all these nominations are just for people to take it and weaponize it on twitter to tell someone else how their game is garbage and how they didn't get game of the year that's how i really feel i know it's been 11 years or so since microsoft has been nominated for game of the year but let's be real what on earth has microsoft dropped in like the past 11 years that's been game of the year like contender because in all honesty for a good chunk of time microsoft games were very live servicey like they were focusing hard on live services like games i talked about this in my last video games like sea of thieves state of decay halo i can't even think of all the games and because those games had like barely any real storyline to it like we thought that halo 5 was gonna be game of the year no like microsoft has not dropped game of the year type of games yet I feel like they will soon, but they're not at that point yet. And Starfield wasn't there, so that now Microsoft has bought more narrative-driven studios, partly because Sony is winning in the narrative race, and the market for narrative games, I think, are higher than most other markets. And so that's where Microsoft's kind of going. If you look at their purchases, they're, they're buying those studios, but it's gonna take time before you see all of that come into play. But, you know, in reality, you have to be 100% real with yourself in the aspect of Microsoft, even though I love them, they're my favorite game system to play on. Even in my video that I just did about Xbox versus PlayStation, I clearly said, if you love those Sony type games, then buy a PlayStation, <laughs> you know, what, and, and without saying, cause you're not going to get them on Xbox, you know, L at least not right now. I love Xbox. I think the all around experience on the Xbox is better. And I break that down more so in that video. So if you want to know what I mean by that, check that out. But the overall experience in my opinion on Xbox is better because on PlayStation, the short version of it is on PlayStation, you'll get that experience every like what once or twice a year. You know, but in between those games, like, okay, Spider-Man came out. Cool. When, I think the next PlayStation exclusive game that I actually care about that's coming out is when Final Fantasy comes out. And I think that's like in February or March. So you kind of get my thing. It's like, there is a drought. Like a game comes out, you play it for a week or two, and then it's a drought into the next game. 
where on Xbox, you don't have to worry about that because those games don't come out. No, no, in all seriousness, on the Xbox side, you just consistently have this uh, this all around good experience, in my opinion. Now, you may feel differently, you may feel like, oh, you know, you don't feel that way. And that's fine if you don't feel that way, that's fine. Um, like I said, check out that other video because I, I do break down more of what I'm talking about. I'm kind of all over the place right now. But ultimately, the point is this. I don't feel that Microsoft, as good as they're doing, and as fun as games like Starfield was, even though it wasn't game of the year, as fun as it was, again, I wasn't shocked that it didn't get nominated. I haven't kept up. I don't know what games are all nominated, which ones aren't. But I'm not shocked that it wasn't nominated. Um, and I don't really care. <laughs> you know, I'm still, I'm not about to go chuck my Xbox out the window because it wasn't nominated for something. A lot of this is just subjective and just my own opinion. You know, so. If you guys feel differently, that's fine. I always welcome that on my channel. I know someone someone on my last video just commented and said, hey, you know, I think PlayStation's better. And I'm totally fine with that. For the past several years, I've always said PlayStation was better for a lot of things. But I got to the point where I'm like, man, they haven't dropped anything I really care about. All they're talking about is PlayStation VR, PlayStation Portable, PlayStation's new headset, PlayStation's new AirPods, PlayStation Slim. It's just a lot of hardware talk. There's significantly been more hardware talk, more layoff talk, in more um, Jim Ryan acting a fool talk this year than is them dropping games. So, you know, take that for what you will. But in reality, you know, they just haven't dropped anything. You know, Xbox hasn't dropped anything that was really worth talking about game of the year. But again, it shouldn't matter. You know, I don't, I don't, the, the problem I have is these Xbox centric channels or these PlayStation centric channels or their Twitter accounts. And they just, they just stir up all this, all this war and people, you know, feed into it. And I feel like we shouldn't, you know, but people are going always going to feed into that stuff. So ultimately I hope this video made sense. Comment down below. What do you feel like? Do you feel about, how do you feel about this Xbox tax? Do you feel that Xbox got snubbed or that they rightfully shouldn't have gotten nominated for anything you i think that in reality we shouldn't be blaming jeff Keeley in the game awards i don't feel like we should be blaming playstation or the journalists or anything like that i do feel like the journalists are still kind of biased but again not exactly what you think i mean but ultimately the biggest thing is i just feel that we should really be blaming Microsoft. Microsoft's too busy trying to be everyone's friends. And I think they're starting. I think they're just now starting to be like, okay, y'all have to actually, actually drop good stuff. <laughs> you know? Like, for example, Halo has got so much better. And they had to, Microsoft had to stop. It took them three games to do this. They had to stop going like, oh, good job, Bonnie Ross. Good job, Kiki Wolf Kill, whatever your name was. Good job. Like, they were releasing the, like bad games. I'm sorry, Halo 4, 5, and Infinite were all like pretty rough. Infinite was, was a lot better, but still really, really rough. And I think they should have stopped patting them on the head for all these years. And now they finally let all of them go. They said they quit, but I think they let them go. And they was like, okay, make a good game. And then Halo Infinite is now getting significantly better. As much as I love the narrative, like stuff that they was doing in Halo Infinite, it's good that they dropped it and just focus on core gameplay. And hopefully the next Halo will benefit. But Microsoft does seem to be changing and they seem to be going a little bit back to that 360 era because that's where they need to go to. They, if Microsoft went back to the 360 era, I don't care what journalists are out there talking anything. If they started moving the way they moved back then, they would just drop PlayStation. Like I, I feel like they would just fly past PlayStation, but right now they can't do that. Um, but you know, that's just my thoughts. Like I said, what do you guys feel? Comment all that down below. Let me know what you guys think. What's your opinion? And also, um, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. It's super important. I also have all my social media accounts down at the bottom. So if you don't mind, take the time and actually follow me on those. I got some interesting takes on like when I'm just rambling on Twitter and whatnot. So, you know, go ahead and follow those. I appreciate all the support that we've been getting to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch all you all in the next video. See you later.